Well, welcome back. There is an insect known to feed on the leaves of trees whose population is growing at a fast rate here in Grand Rapids. We are talking about spongy moth caterpillars. Joe Sulak, superintendent with the Department of Parks and Recreation, is here now. Thanks for being here. Well, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So for those of us who aren't familiar with this insect, what can you tell us about it? Well, spongy moth is uh, actually the new name for the uh, what we previously called gypsy moth, um, and uh, it's some it's an insect that's been in Michigan for 50 years, um, and populations rise and fall. Uh, in 2018, we had an outbreak in the Grand Rapids area that was pretty severe, and uh, we just wanted to get the word out that you know we can do a lot individually to help control the populations in our uh, yards and uh, along streets. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the types of trees or plants that these things seem to prefer over others. I guess, where can we find them? Yeah, well, I think uh, spongy moth has quite a range. Uh, usually you see them on oak trees, maple trees. I think those are uh, the two big ones that we want to look for. You know, it's not like the insect comes in and, you know, in, the, in right now. It's already here in egg form. So what you want to do is you want to look for egg masses on the underside of larger limbs of oak trees, maple trees. I've even seen them growing on linden trees. When the populations are really high, they'll even attack uh, conifers as well. And what do we do then if we notice, notice those egg masses on the trees? We remove them? Yeah, so you can, uh, what real easy, maybe you get like a, uh, a painter's scraping uh, tool and you just kind of scrape the eggs off. And if you have a, a jar with uh, soapy water in it and you put the eggs in there, let them sit for 48 hours, that'll destroy the eggs. And then you can just throw them in the trash. But yeah, like these pictures you're showing right here, it's a exa exa uh, perfect example. You want to look on the undersides of the branches, maybe even underneath uh, structures like the gutters and that, and you'll notice them. They've been there all winter and they won't really start hatching until late May. So uh, we've got some time, but now that it's spring and people are outside, you want to start looking for those things. And when you see them, if they're in reach, then you can scrape them off. Another thing you can do as they start hatching is wrap the trees with duct tape with the sticky side out on the trunk because uh, a spongy moth, one of their habits is the young go down to the ground and then come back up in the tree uh, as they uh, feed. So you can catch them on those uh, sticky traps. Yeah, great tips there. It's now, now's the time to get out mm -hmm. and start inspecting some of the trees to make sure that you don't have these eggs out there. Yeah, yeah, get outside and enjoy the weather and uh, look for gypsy moth, or spongy moth eggs, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. All right, good, yeah, good plan. All right, thank you so much, appreciate it, Joe. All right, have a great day. You too. Thanks, Joe.